The objective within this lesson is to solve multiplicative comparison word problems by applying the area and perimeter formulas. A rectangle is 2 inches wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Draw to find its length. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with where it is. Then we'll draw a vertical line and label it 2 meters because that there will be the width of the rectangle for sure. Then it says that it's three times as long as it is wide. So let's still take that same two meters, and then let's start working with the length. And then so if we had this here for the length where we match it, that would be one times. And then if we finish that there rectangle, we have that there. So that's one, right? That'd be one time as wide. But we don't want just one time as wide, we actually want two times as wide. So let's go ahead and go two times as wide. Two times as wide. So now we're at two times as wide. But we're not quite there yet. We actually have to go three times as wide. Let me make some more room. Draw another arrow. Instead of just once, not twice, but three times as wide. So we have the two meters, one time as wide. two times as wide, and three times as wide, or that's two, four, and six. Where three times two does equal six meters, because we have three twos there. So this rectangle is six by two, six meters by two meters. And so its length is three times that two. Three times two meters does equal six meters. Okay, here we have one of those types of word problems. And what we'll do is we'll break it apart into different smaller pieces so it will be easier to look at. We take a moment to read it. Who is this problem about? Right, Chris. What's Chris doing? Looks like she's painting a door. And actually she's painting two doors where the first door has an area of 24 square meters and a length of six meters. And then that first question that is being asked is what is the width of the door? Next, she's painting another door where it's the same length but three times as wide. And then so it's asking us what that perimeter is of the next door that she paints. So let's start with that first door that she's painting. It says it has a length of six. So let's go ahead and draw that where it has a length of six meters. Next, it says that it has an area of 24 square meters. Hmm, an area of 24 square meters. Well, it's a rectangle. And so, inside there is 24 square meters. 
What's that formula for area again? Right, length times width. So in this case, we have 24 equaling our given length of 6 times what? 6 times what is 24? The division problem that could help us is 24 divided by 6 equaling 4. 4 is our width of that door. So 4 meters is what we just solved for, for the width of the door. Her next door is the same length, but 3 times as wide. Which one of these was the length of the door? Hopefully you said 6. So let's go ahead and draw that, where it is that we have 6 meters. So we'd have one of those with 6 meters, right? But that would only be one time the width. For two times the width, I'd have to extend it another one there for another 4 meters. And then even further again, right? So what we're looking at is this here, and this drawing here, where that next door is three times as wide. One, two, three times as wide. Where that's three times the four meters does equal 12 meters. We got this three times as wide. Now how do I figure out that perimeter then of this whole thing? We're looking at the distance that is around the whole figure, which is 6 plus 12 plus 6 plus 12. Let's write that out. Perimeter is equal to 6 plus 12 plus 6 plus 12. Those are all meters. 6 plus 12 is 18 plus 18 which is 36 meters. So the perimeter of the next door is 36 meters. And we would write out a statement there where we say that the perimeter of the door is, and the next door is, 36 meters. One of the keys when working through these problems is to remember the formulas for area and also the formulas for perimeter. Formula for area is equal to length times width. The formula for perimeter is equal to length plus width plus length plus width. Another thing that is very helpful when you're working through these problems is to make sure that you are drawing a picture to help you work through those problems. So you have length and width of a rectangle. When they're talking about multiplicative problems, they'll say things like twice as long or three times as long. And then so you really have to read carefully to really think about how it is that those different pieces of the problem work together and break apart a problem into a simpler problem to solve. Be very careful if it's asking you to figure out the area or if it's asking you to figure out the perimeter. And of course, remember to label. Remember that area is always in square units. So if you're talking about meters, it would be square meters and perimeter, or that distance around that figure would be just units. And then so if you were talking about centimeters, it would just be centimeters.